We back with Destiny after him from the last video. Hear his argument this time. Ah, right, let's see what he got to say. I feel like women love more. I think on average, I think women are more emotionally mature. And I think that love outside of like the fairy tale book requires a lot of actual like emotional upkeep, a lot of emotional labor. I think a lot of guys can't put that in. I don't think feeling possessive or jealous is love just because you get like really ass mad if your woman does something or if you get like really jealous or possessive, a woman doesn't even love her more. So I think women in general need to put more emotional work in the relationship. So I'd say a little bit more. Would you also say this to the argument here that women pick up with men more than men pick up with women? What do you think? Uh, break up with? I don't know. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, well, I mean, this is why I like having Destiny on. Uh, I disagree with Destiny. I think men love far more than women do, and I think men are closer to loving idealistically because men love women under far less conditions than women love men. That sounds like the opposite of love to me. Well, if you love under far less conditions, that sounds like desperation. I don't want somebody that loves me for like one or two reasons or whatever, right? I want them to be a lot of reasons why but, they love me. But what I'm saying is that for a man to love a woman, she does not have to jump as through as many hoops and meet as many requirements as for a woman needs to love a man. So in other words, the guy's got to reach a certain level to even be acknowledged by the woman. However, that woman, she could be mediocre and still get the garner the love from a man who is superior to her in every way, which, you know, from a biological standpoint, that makes sense because men date down and women date up. So we make the question genderless. Who loves more? Somebody with high standards or low standards? All else equal. Damn, you said it's going at it. <laughs> they going at it. I don't even know. They hate each other, bro. I, I don't even know where to stop it. Like, uh, he, he, he. Hold on, though. Hold on. I'm going to say I'm gonna say my piece. I'm going to say my piece. But I got to hear this. That's hold what on. you're essentially saying. I would say the person with high standards loves more because you're being more selective of your partner. So, of course, you're going to love that partner more. But it's 100% contingent upon the other party's ability to provide and uh, and perform, is my point. Like, a woman doesn't have a burden of performance to garner love from a man. I mean, if you're telling guys to like look for a woman that's just young and can cook, then of course there's no burden in performance. Yeah. But again, but, like how much of love is that? Like, I love you so much. Like, why? Because I can cook and I'm young. Like, you can find a million girls that can cook in here. If you get two reasons true. for it, then like, yeah. That is cares? true. But what I'm saying is that if you take a majority of men versus a majority of women, a majority of men would like a majority of women. However, a majority of women definitely don't like a majority of men. Yeah, I agree. That's why so, I think women love more. Because when they pick somebody, they're selective about it. They put more time and energy into it, for sure. Whereas for a guy, the woman is a lot more replaceable. That's why even Sneak over here was like, oh, you know, you might step out of another or whatever. It's like, okay, well, how much do you actually love your woman? You're willing to do something like that. Like, that has something to do with how much you love the person. It absolutely does. Why? Because it requires yeah. you to step out of your own selfish frame of reference to see how your partner feels about something. You only prioritize the things that you want in life. That says something about how you view love of another person. He's, he's on, he's on shit. I uh, tell uh, shit. See, that nigga can talk that way. That nigga can talk. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga can talk. I'm telling you, bro. That nigga can talk. He good. Uh, Dusty, you good. Off the dome, too, bro. Like, uh, off the dome, too, bro. Every time off they got saying, bro. Yeah, bro, off the dome. That he's a, yo, he's a master debater. He knows how to debate, bro. He should run for president. This man's gonna hit him the left. You hit him to the left, you to the right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wee, wee, wee. Yeah, that's called being selfish. It's usually what you do when you don't love somebody. So they can get what they want, but we can get what we want as well? Depends on what you want. If you're dating a cannibal, they want to eat you. It's not like both of you have fair ass, right? But what we ask for is so small, though, compared to what... To other women? To be disloyal? To maybe knock another woman up? To maybe step out of your girl and just start dating other women? How is that a small ass? Not only that, bringing something back home. Yeah, what like STDs? Disease, you've got... Like, imagine Miami. you come home and you're, and you're like, oh, shit, I got another girl pregnant. Like, <laughs> you're in a whole fucking world shit. of agony there. Yeah. See, the thing here sure. is that, and the reason why I, I disagree, and I get where you, I see where you're going with this saying that women have far more requirements, therefore they love harder because those requirements are harder to find. What I'm saying is that by having more requirements, that makes that makes it where their love is 100% contingent upon that man's performance. So it's fleeting because if that guy loses, right, what he had, that woman will leave. So, and I've always said it that, you know, shout out to Rolo, I agree with him on this. Women love opportunistically. While men tend to love idealistically, I think so, that I think one. They both got a good point. I ain't gonna lie. Damn. <laughs> this see, the way it's gonna be easy. This damn. Is actually, a damn. Argument right damn. here. Damn. This is a response I gotta hit on the podcast, man. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch like two more minutes before I say what I gotta say. I think the fact that they love opportunistically proves they're in itself. That they love, they don't love uh, as hard as men do. They don't love idealistically. They love uh, based on I need this guy to perform something for me, then I can love him. Whereas a man is like, okay, uh, these are my requirements. You're attractive. You can cook just like we discussed before. That's good enough for me, and that guy will fall in love with her. Versus for her, it's like you need to perform. Sure. So for your question, so, you could you give a good qualifier that now since you're abandoning, which is you don't believe in unconditional love. 
Nobody loves unconditionally. Yeah, there's always a condition. Nobody loves, okay, so, what, so if you're talking about like a man with very few requirements, and you're gonna say like, well, if you're not meeting the performance like a man to, to a woman, then mm -hmm. she's gonna leave you. Well, the probably is the same thing is true for the man as well. Right? I disagree. If the, really? So you think the average man would stay with a woman if she got like battery acid attacked and lost both legs or something? There's not a condition. Oh, that, okay, that, now you're good, making it the extreme. Okay, totally so what would happen? So then what would happen, so then what would happen to a woman that you wouldn't be with her anymore? I guess if your standards are really low, then maybe you wouldn't care. But again, this isn't a man versus woman thing. This is high standards versus low standards. If your only standards are I need you to cook and I guess not oh. cheat on me, then sure. I mean, you can find a lot of people that'll fit the bill. And that's but then my again, point. like if I, if I and my partner are side by side and we're asked to describe why do we love each other, mm -hmm. and I say, okay, I really love my partner because she cooks really well mm -hmm. and she's never fucked another guy while we're dating. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay. And then she says, oh, well, I love him because of this and that and that and that and that. Yeah. Well, who loves each other more? I, that just seems like a weird. It just seems like a weird thing to me. It's like, oh, well, I like her because of these two things that I can well, find remember, literally every other woman in the, on the planet. Well, remember the question I said: who who is closer to unconditional love? Oh, right. I didn't hear that. I yeah. Said, Who's more? yeah, 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 yeah. Who's so I said, closer to unconditional yeah, so, so love? Because I said, because I said first, okay, unconditional love isn't realistic. Okay, However, well, in that case, then the unconditional love is going to be the one with the lower standard. So if you're yeah, a low standard I mean. guy, then sure, you're, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's easier for you to it's love. Guy. Okay. Uh, and I mean, I, I see that you switched to the, the point a little bit, saying, oh, uh, like you know, men, women love more because they have more standards. But my thing is, who's closer to unconditional love? And I would argue, None. it's the men because. We have far less conditions than women do. Sure. Well, in that case, the, the closest to unconditional love would be people with like down or something, right? You see somebody, you <laughs> smile, you know, if that's the, if that's the ideal, okay, you're going to act like a reap. Damn, I don't, I don't know which way to attack them, bro. They, they, they was, and this was a boxing match right there. Um, I mean, it was a boxing match, but like, he wasn't on the topic. So I'm talking about who loves more, who loves, who loves, who loves, who loves un unconditionally. I would say men, men really like don't ask for much. And then once you do deliver on what they ask for, then they gonna love you forever. You feel mm -hmm. me? They gonna love you hard. You feel me? I mean, I ask for four things, four simple things. And once you give me those four simple things, we locked in for life. You know what I'm saying? So, but however, the, the ladies, they have such unrealistic things that they're asking from people that's not either one there yet, or if they are there yet, they're not looking for you. You feel me? For example, the, the six feet beard, gym. <laughs> Six figures. <laughs> you feel me? Mm -hmm. And then it's like most of them, it's like there's guys that can't get to that level. Yeah, but then it's like they don't want to stay with them while they're at the lowest. Like, so you know, get them towards it. You feel me? And then it's like if you do meet a guy that's already there, they're not gonna look at you. They're not gonna look at you like that. So who who loves unconditionally? I would say men. But who loves more because that's their emotional nature? I would say the ladies. I disagree. Simply for one for one thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I can't give you the exact scripture, but there's a scripture in the Bible that says that, you know what I'm saying, something about along the lines of you know that you love somebody so much when you wanted to give up your life for them. Mm -hmm. And so in the way you said before, the only one who's gonna give up their life in a relationship and jump in front of that bullet is a man. For sure, because that's his job though. He's supposed he's a protector. Okay, so that would mean inherently who loves more. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, man. I, I give you that, man. I give you that. <laughs> man, yeah, I give you that. I give you that. I give you that. But then guys would have a simple one go chain, right? Wow, for the girl, for her to love one single chain, it gotta have red ruby, diamonds all around it, for it's sapphire, yeah. all that shit on that one on that one chain for her to be like, yes. This is my chain, and I'm a rock with it, cause it got the ruby, the, the diamond all around it, and that's that. Meanwhile, also we could have the guy will have that one simple thing, that one simple on um, gold chain, and be happy with it. Why? Cause that's his goal. That one little rope, you feel me? That one little rope. rope, that gold rope, and the black <laughs> turtle neck. That's it. That's, that's, it. It. that's <laughs> it. You know, so um, yeah, guys really do love more. And this is probably a controversial thing. Not really, but... Um, I mean, honestly, bro, honestly I, I really think at the end of the day, it depends on what your definition of love is. True. You know, because everyone, everyone is different. So everyone. Is, I really think it's just a matter of that. You know? But even though it's a matter of that, you know, it's still good to play. It's still good to play. Yeah. 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 And it's, it's, it's not like a... a, a, a being sexist or anything. Yeah. Nah, love is love. Love wins all the time. Mm -hmm. and love is beautiful. All that. But it's just, do what works for you. You feel me? And, and, and love who loves you. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's
that's all it is, man. Love yourself too. Definitely. That's my number one. For you feel me? That's number one. But hey, look, we're on the road to 500 subs, sir. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And of course, click right here. Oh, one last tip, ladies. Find you a man who loves you harder than you love them. That'll be the best relationship. That's going to be tough, bro. Wait, what happened? It's going to be tough. Now let me tell. For a girl to find a man that loves them harder than they love it's them. It's not that tough. Tell the girls look with their friends on. Wow.